Hey guys, it's Cassie. Um, coming at you again with just another um, video on how to curl your hair. So I have a lot of clients who come in to me and they tell me that I'm the only one who can ever get their curls to stay um, and that their curls will stay all day long and for a couple of days afterwards. And I always kind of wondered why that was. Um, I didn't feel like I was doing anything special necessarily. Uh, but then I really realized after asking a few people and now I ask everyone how they curl their hair. And a lot of times they tell me, um, you know, that they take their iron, they go like this, and then they curl their hair up like that. Okay, I'm not going to do that for a long time. So what that ends up doing is your ends get curly. Sometimes you'll get a little curl going through here. Um, but then by the end of the day, even within a couple hours, their hair is super flat. So, uh, I realized, oh my gosh, all my clients are curling their hair wrong and they're frying their ends because when you curl your hair up like that and you're holding it, the weakest part of your hair, your ends are cooking in that heat and not enough heat is getting up here where you want your volume. Um, so Number one, it's that. The other thing is um, product is huge for people who tend to have naturally really straight or fine hair. Um, they need that extra product. In general, um, because my hair is naturally curly, I don't need a ton of product for my hair to stay curled. But um, I do like to use products uh, in my hair, heat protectants, things like that, um, to make sure that I'm protecting my hair and um, it, it, it does help. With, with staying power. So um, I am gonna use this product right here. It's called Color Wow Style on Steroids, Performance Enhancing Texture and Finishing Spray. It's kind of cool because you can finish with this and you can curl with it. Uh, and then the other thing that I'm gonna use is a cult favorite. Um, this is a flex, flexible hairspray. Um, one of my very favorite hairsprays in the world is Moroccan oil hairsprays. Um, I don't use all of their products, but their hairspray is by far my favorite. Um, super, super soft hold. Um, and this one is very, very comparable. So you can still run your fingers through your hair at the end of the day. You can brush through it and it's not going to break your hair. Um, so I'm just going to show a basic curling. Um, one of these days I'll do a wand tutorial um, on how to curl your hair with a wand, how to kind of get that beachy wave. Um, we'll do things like that too. But first off, I want to start with how to curl your hair with a standard curling iron. So I love these curling irons. Um, ceramic tools, so they're not expensive. I want to say this one's like 30 to 40 bucks. Um, it is a one inch, one inch barrel. Um, and yes, even with my long hair, even though I want loose curls, I'm going to use a smaller wand and I'll show you how and why, um, I do that. So we're going to start off. Oh, also I did a tutorial yesterday on how to blow dry your hair. Um, and I slept on this last night. I didn't flat iron it or anything. Obviously you can see my little curls coming out. Um, but it still has a ton of volume. So, um, I, again, this um, color wow, raise the root. That's what I put in my roots. And um, I still have tons of volume. So um, really cool. I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna try and make this video shorter than my other one. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I'm gonna section my hair. I do recommend that you do this for people who are not super savvy on curling their hair. It really helps keep things out of your way. So I just kind of section this bottom section. Um, now granted, I do have hair extensions. Um, so I'll throw in some little tips there too for you hair extension clients. But the basics of this is gonna work whether you have it or not, whether your hair is this length, like mine actually is, or if your hair is long. So I'm just gonna separate it down the middle like this. Um, this product you can use for texturizing. Um, so afterwards, after you curl your hair, you can spray it through, you can kind of scrunch it, mess it up. Works great for um, those beachy waves, kind of messy waves. Otherwise, it also says on the bottle, um, what does it say here? Um, 
When you iron in waves or flatten them out, get record setting results. Ringlets that are springier, straightening that is swingier, won't distort color, never stiff or crispy. So um, nobody likes their hair stiff and crispy, um, especially these days. We're looking for kind of that soft tasseled look, um, kind of effortless. So I'm just gonna kind of spray this through here. Okay, so I like to start from the back and work my way forward. The reason for that is once I've curled it, then I can swing it behind my back. It's out of my way. So again, I'm doing this in my mirror, or excuse me, in my in my camera. I should probably brush through this first. Okay. So I'm gonna comb it out. And again, a lot of my clients, they tell me that they bring their iron down to the end and wrap it up. So that is not the proper way to curl your hair. Again, the most fragile part of your hair is down here. Um, and this is kind of your new, fresh, healthiest hair, I guess. Um, and it's also where your volume is created. So I'm gonna start up at the top and I'm gonna clamp it down. And then I'm just gonna twist. And I'm kinda, I don't know if you see my thumb, I'm opening and closing as I turn, okay? So this is just, Sometimes I have to click, click, click. Um, if you have hair extensions, my bottom hair or my underneath hair is short. So I curl it into my hair. I don't curl it separately. And I missed a little piece here. So same thing. You're just going to open and close, kind of coming down your hair, twisting, and then releasing. So um, as you can see, I have a curl going all the way through. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just kind of evenly wrapped all the way around. And that's how you get your curls to last all day. When you curl from the bottom up, I'm sure as most of you know, your end gets really, really curly and then the top is straight. So just like that. Oh, my bangs are all falling down. Let me do another clip. Okay. So then um, I can swing that behind my back. It's out of my way. Once you've practiced this, I'm gonna curl this one by itself. Once you've practiced this, um, it gets a lot faster. Um, and you start to learn, you know, your hair. You don't have to section as much. Um, although I will say that when you do section, <clears throat> it just really, makes things more manageable. It, it gets less messy. Okay. So that's really, really curled. Um, another tip is a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that's too curly. And then they pull it out like this. They're like, oh, okay. Extension hair curls a lot, but they pull it out and then it's cooling in that looser state. And then, um, throughout the day they lose that curl. Um, so again, heat, um, breaks the bonds in your hair as well as as well as water. I talked about this in my other video. Um, heat breaks down your hair and then when it cools, that's when it sets or kind of solidifies. So if you let your curl cool off in a nice ringlet, do your whole hair, let it all cool before you run your fingers through it. And then once it's cool and you run your fingers through it, that's when you're going to get that nice wave and it's going to last all day long. Okay. So this piece, because it's in the front, I'm going to curl this too. Hold it for a second. And then I bring my ends through it at the very last second and pull. So see, it's like that nice little <laughs> Shirley Temple girl. See, when I pull it out, how this one got kind of more straight. Okay, so in general, you're going to wait until the very end to run your fingers through. With that being said, if you do have hair that curls really, really well, um, you can always um, run your fingers through it anyways. So like, 
I mentioned my daughter in my other video. She has very stick straight hair, almost zero body to her hair. Um, and it is tough to hold. So hold curl. Um, so I will actually, I'm going to go like this. My hair is long. Okay. Get that in through and pull. So when I do her hair, I will actually take her curl, pull it up, and then I'll pin it with a little pin to let it set and cool completely in the lifted position. Um, and then once her hair is all the way complete, so she ends up looking kind of like a little old lady with all her curls all over. Um, at the end of that, then I will take it down and then her curls definitely last longer. Um, but if you are somebody whose hair curls super, super easy, it stays for you. Uh, I would say that that you can stretch it out if you don't want it so curly. Um, I try with my hair extensions, um, I try to get my hair to last for at least four days. Um, I do wash the top section of my hair that isn't in my extension over my sink. So this part. Um, within those four days, um, just because I like to get the product off my scalp. So there we go. So there's that top section, or the, excuse me, the bottom section. I'm going to let that cool, throw this kind of behind, and then I take my hair down. And I will speed this up in a second. I'll just show you this one last little thing. So here's my next section. Pin this up and out of the way. Okay. And then when you bring it forward, obviously you can tell the difference between what is curled and what is not. Um, and so you can find where you need to curl and so that you don't miss any sections. So I am going to curl the rest of this. And then um, once we get to the top, I'll show you how I do my front section. So here we go. little thing to point out um, I am curling away from my face um, this is going to give you more of that wave um, in general I will say that I always curl away from my face um, even if I'm going to do kind of a beachy wave I will still um, curl away from my face at least in the front section um, I guess the times that that would be um, maybe not applicable is uh, if you have shorter hair and you really kind of want that messy look. Um, but in general, with medium length to long, uh, I will always curl away from my face. It's just the most flattering in general. Um, and then as you can see, like none of my hair is really having a ton of heat on it for a very long period of time and it's still making these curls. So think about when you curl it from the bottom and you go up and you sit there and you hold your iron to feel the heat coming through. That whole time your ends are just frying inside your curling iron. So if you're wanting to have longer hair, um, I love heat protectants. But if you're holding heat on your hair that long, gosh, I mean, I hope that the, the oh, that's my flat iron turning it off. Um, I hope that, I hope that it's working and protecting your hair, but I, 
gosh, I don't know how it possibly could be. That's a lot of a lot of faith to put into that that um, that heat protectant for that long period of time. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep keep going here. Okay, so I just want to show you, um, I have these shorter hairs around my face. Um, they also get super, super curly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I will always have my flat iron out just to kind of help myself with those. Sometimes even on those babies, I will use my flat iron versus my curling iron. I'll show you how I do that. So I just kind of tap and then swing and then just twist my wrist a little. Um, sometimes my flat iron does a better job on those little baby hairs than my curling iron does. Um, sometimes my curling iron will just curl them way too much. And um, yeah, plus they're, they're kind of fragile. So, okay, so now the top section, I have a lot of people ask me all the time, um, they struggle with the front part of their hair I'm gonna part it down the middle today um, because they say they get kind of that Farrah Fawcett. I'm gonna section out this top little crown. Keep it out of my way. I have a lot of hair right back here. So I do, I do actually always section this out and curl it separately. Okay, so a lot of times I have people say that the front of their hair, it gets, they can't figure out how to get their bangs right. Um, I'm gonna show you oftentimes what they do and maybe you are doing this at home too and kind of feel the the pain I guess so they'll take it and they'll curl this exactly the same way that they were curling everything else not necessarily wrong but in general this is not the look <laughs> that they're looking for so let me show you um I did not put product in the front here, mainly because um, I touch my hair all the time and I want my bangs to be super soft. Now this is all really soft actually. Um, but like I mentioned in another video, I get some psoriasis on my scalp and especially around my face. So I do try to avoid too much product in my bangs because it sits directly on my forehead. So that's another reason. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this cool for a second. And this is how they curl the front. Not necessarily wrong, let me tuck. But <laughs> once it's pulled out, they're getting something like this. Uh, yeah, not super cute, at least for me. <laughs> um, again, not necessarily wrong. And if your hair is longer through here, by all means, 
um, you could do this. Um, so imagine, you know, your curl would be kind of starting here and then it would be coming down. So not a big deal. But if you have bangs, uh, kind of that bang layer where it's that long front section called a bang layer, that's not necessarily what you're looking for. So quickly, I'm just going to fix my little baby hairs here that are really curly. My flat iron. Okay, so um, instead, what I'm going to have you do, I like to break mine up in sections because mine is, uh, I have a large bang layer. Sometimes if they're thinner, you don't need to do that. So um, rather than taking it, your curling iron, vertically like this, like we've mostly done the rest of our hair, through these front sections, I'm actually going to have you hold it at a 45 degree angle and you're gonna flip your iron like this and you're basically gonna hold it this way but you're gonna pull it down almost like a flat iron so you're gonna open slide it down and then curl kind of through the end and then release so we're gonna go through my last two little sections and I actually curl all the way back to just past my ear probably doing this technique. Um, a part of that is because of my hair extensions. I want to uh, blend that top layer and make it look or appear long like my extensions are. I got this funny little dupe. So I take my flat iron and I just go like that. Oh, baby. Okay, so I'm going to keep going through this section. Again, not pulling out not pulling out your curl yet. Let it cool. Um, I will show you with my flat iron how if you don't have a curling iron this size, you can curl your hair with your flat iron. Um, I have a GHD flat iron. It is my by far favorite. Um, the plates, they bend and they move. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then they're curved. Another cool thing about a GHD iron uh, versus other ones is they just have little details. So this little spot right here, it's a little plastic thing. It protects from your hair getting caught between the plates. Whenever you're flat ironing, if you feel or hear that k -k -k kind of sound, um, it's breaking your hair. So um, these are spendy little buggers, um, but well worth it because they last forever. And the heat, it, it just, it, it's a really nice flat iron and it has all kind of the little extra details, like those little plastic pieces that help protect your hair from breaking. So um, this is what you would do with your flat iron through the top. I kind of go like that, pull it down, same thing, and then twist basically halfway around and then release. So see that actually made a tighter curl than my flat iron or than my curling iron. I'm gonna just pull that out really quick just so my curl matches. But that's how you do it with your flat iron. Okay, see? Now once it's cooled and you run your fingers through that, I'm kind of a perfectionist. So I'm gonna just take that little weird guy. Okay. Um, so then see the difference, um, especially once I, I pull it all through. So that's the difference. If you hold it horizontally on this side, you're going to get this. <laughs> and then on this side, it's going to lay um, a little softer, more um, in on trend, I guess. So let's see if I can. Now we're going to test my theory about letting things cool. I may not be able to fix this. I'm going to have to get it wet later. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna pull and curl. <laughs> I saved it. Break that section up. Pull down and then turn. So it's going to be a little different than the other one, but that's okay. Pull down. 
down and then turn at the bottom, pull down and through. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna kind of finish this top little section and then I'll show you what I do uh, right in here in just a second. This section, instead of down, I'm gonna actually do this one horizontally. It adds some volume. I get a little, I get a little spot right here that likes to separate. It's, I call it my butt crack. I'll ask Charlie, my husband, is my butt crack showing? He laughs at me. And I will show you too, if you do have that happen to you, um, kind of what I do to help it from separating. So after it's curled, I will take that section, let it cool off here. Okay, and then I will spray it with a hairspray and then holding your comb at, ugh, how do I do this on the camera? kind of at a 45 degree angle, like that. You're gonna do light back combing. I'm not talking the teasing that your mom may have done in the 80s, or maybe you did it in the 80s. Um, let it kind of sit. This just kind of melts that little butt crack section. And then see, I also get a little volume there. Um, so kind of same through this section, Towards the top of my head, I will curl this horizontally. I'm gonna put a little spray in it. Now this is a this is a hairspray that you can curl over. It's soft, you can comb right through it. If you have a strong hold hairspray and you're curling through your hair, um, it's melting to your curling iron. If it feels stiff, you have tons of residue left on your curling iron it's probably not the best hairspray to use um it can also break your hair so i got that little bugger see you can see right there it's like my natural split it's incredibly annoying but just know hairstylists too have the same issues you have at home i know a lot of my clients have whirls they have the same kind of butt crack. Everyone has a different growth pattern in their hair and there's going to be somewhere where it splits or the, the, um, the hair grows in a circle. Generally in this area is where that happens. So um, I'm going to kind of pull that down and let it cool. So then I just kind of decide how far back I want my part to go. And that's kind of where I'll stop curling horizontally. So we'll do one more horizontal curl. I almost forgot. This one, I'm not gonna back comb. I don't have that split issue. And then it helps me hide more of my back combing. So I'm clicking it out of my hair and then I got that funny little loop. Just let it cool, just like that. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm gonna separate it. And this is where I'm gonna do kind of my last two curls. Horizontal, or excuse me, um, 45 degree angle, pull it down, turn through those ends, and then just lay it down, let it cool off. Okay. And this one, I did not put the hairspray in, mainly because I, I don't want a lot of volume through there. Kind of have enough volume for my liking with my blow dry that I did yesterday. Um, these don't match because of how I curled that side, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, once that's cool, then I can gently pull it over that. I'm gonna use my fine tooth comb to kind of smooth that out and over. 
Now with my hair extensions, I actually normally do curl the back of my hair a little different than that. But I know, I mean, the majority of my clients don't have that. So this is how I would do it. And actually, if my layers were longer um, through here, you know, most of my hair extension clients, their their layers are like this long and they don't have the issues that I do. Um, then you totally could curl it this way. Okay, so now all of this is cooled down. This is when I'm going to run my fingers through everything. And see, even with that um, one inch iron, look how wavy it is larger waves okay look like this um, and I want to show you too when you let it cool like that if you want them even looser uh, boar bristle brushes work really awesome for this um, you can comb through them look at this shine Look how shiny it is from all these ColorWow products. Um, I actually will take my brush, curl it the direction I want it to go. But I get a lot of people asking, how do you get those big waves? And then I use my small curling iron. They're like, no, 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 I want big waves. No, trust me. This is how we're going to get them to stay. Um, and see how they're still really big waves. Um, I will sometimes, after curling, I'll even take my flat iron to make it look even looser, but these are going to still last all day. I'll take my flat iron and run it right through the bottom to kind of flatten my ends. Pull it down. Let me brush this side. Okay, and then I can flat iron these ends as well. Okay. So see now I have, I hope you can see that. So now I just have these kind of big waves going through and they're not super tight curls. But now I will not curl my hair besides right around my hairline for probably the next four days. These will last me. Um, so then I'm just going to finish up with this. I don't know if you can see in the camera. I have all these lovely little short guys kind of always battling those. Um, but again, because this is a, a nice soft hairspray, but it does have really nice hold. Um, I'll still be able to touch my hair today and I won't be breaking it. Um, another little, little tip. I always spray under my wings. Imagine like the foundation of a house um, is where all the stability comes from. So if you don't want your wings falling down into your face all day long, if you spray underneath first, kind of hold it up, let it dry. Then, doo -doo -doo, then you can pull this forward and then you can spray the top. And then I actually learned that from my mama back in the day watching her do her 80s hair. You know, she'd have the big poofs and she'd take her blow dryer. <laughs> I don't do that. But she would pull her hair down like this and then she'd spray with hairspray underneath and then she'd take her blow dryer and blow it up like this. I don't know if you remember those 80 hair days, right? Like that. Yep. So then it was never on her face. So we're not going to do that because that's not the 80s, but it is kind of the same idea with your bangs. Um, so that they don't fall down. And that's any kind of bang. If you got a swoop bang, lift them up lightly, spray underneath with your hairspray like this, kind of let them cool and then let them go. Oftentimes, yes, they're going to kind of stick out and go, Ooh, that's not a good look, but honestly gravity. And then just kind of using your hands a little bit to swing them over will really help it stay. So, um, yeah, um, this is just a standard curling iron still kind of gives that look of that wave that you're seeing everywhere um, without having to do a whole lot. And part of that is flattening my ends uh, with the flat iron at the very end. So there you go. Let me kind of show you the back. So yeah, 
there you go. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, any videos that you would like uh, me to do, any tutorials. I got nothing but time right now uh, with the salons being closed in Minnesota. Um, so I'd be happy to make some extra videos for you. Um, also, if you have any questions about hair products, go ahead and instant message me uh, through my CK Salon uh, Facebook page and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. God bless.